Oh, alrighty then, guys. It is the Burger Nine Two here. Today we got a little Black Ops First Strike map pack a gameplay. Uh, today we're going to be using the Spectre with Rapid Fire and Silencer, and this is the map Berlin Wall. This was actually my first playthrough on Berlin Wall, and I recorded this one off theater mode because I didn't think my first game would be that um, that extraordinary. But um, as you'll see, I get a pretty nice score. I die zero times, so there's no need to worry about uh, any mistakes were made. So, Berlin Wall and the first strike map pack. So, Berlin Wall is a pretty good map. I'm actually probably my favorite of the map pack so far. Uh, people might disagree, but um, Berlin Wall is one of those maps. It looks like it's going to be a pretty large map, but it's really not that big of a map. It's actually quite small. Um, and Team Deathmatch is... It's it's not the most exciting, but um, if you can get into some like the, some of these like little high traffic areas right here, it gets pretty fun. Uh, I can already tell I have not played an objective game type on this map yet, uh, such as like demolition or domination. But this is going to be a pretty hard fought uh, objective based game type um, map. I can't imagine how demolition spawns are going to work out. It's going to be pretty radical, uh, just getting across those middle parts and things like that. Uh, and I guess domination too, because the dom domination B flag is right smack in the middle right there. So yeah, so this is pretty interesting gameplay. I figured I use the Spectre, uh, something new. Um, rapid fire silencer is a very good combination. Uh, you know, a lot of most of, actually the MPL is probably the other one that I'll say with the silencer and rapid fire is really good. Uh, and the Spectre is really good with it as well. Uh, so you'll see here, this is my first time maneuvering through this map, so it might be a little slow paced. I might be running around corners slowly, and I know not to go around there because that's what's going to happen. You're going to get shot like that. Um, so, really, I think with the other other maps, um, I haven't played Stadium yet. I've played uh, Kowlong or whatever it's called, and I've played uh, Discovery, and I just played a bit of Ascension, so I've got pretty much uh, four out of the five new maps under my belt. I uh, haven't played Stadium because it hasn't really come up in the rotation yet, um, but I'm hoping to get some gameplay on that. Um, a lot of people were excited about that map. It looks pretty fun. It looks, you know, bright and colorful. Like kind of a, almost like a terminal kind of thing for Mario for 2. So that should be interesting. So, um, yeah, for all my PS3 guys, uh, you're going to want to pick up this map back when it comes out. And all the Xbox guys who are spectac uh, spectacle or are skeptical about uh, this map back, it is fun as hell. These maps are really fun. They're really well made. Um, the only thing I don't like about them is, again, um, launch. They had a lot of ambient noise on launch. And what I mean by ambient noise is the, the rocket taking off. Uh, on some of these maps, Berlin Wall, sometimes you'll hear like sirens going off. Just like things that's going to mess up your hearing. And this is not really pertaining to like demolition or domination, the big or headquarters or any of those big objective game types. This is more pertaining to like search and destroy when you are actually trying to sound whore and you're trying to hear footsteps and trying to hear bomb plans for that matter. So really, um, that's probably one of the big man complaints I have about these maps. Uh, they do appear in the rotation quite a bit. It would be nice to have a mosh pit uh, sort of game type. Uh, mosh pit sort of game type to have like on these new maps and I think I saw David Vondhar tweet that they're thinking about putting a mosh pit sort of thing like Marfa 2 did where uh, like basically the first week week and a half of the map pack they had well it's the map pack basically had its own little playlist and it, you know you could play all the game types on the maps and it was a mosh pit so that would be actually quite nice because um, it's sorta of, I mean like they they will appear in the rotation a bit more but you know, you have just as well as a chance to play, like, you know, grid launch or anything like that. Uh, so that would be nice to have a mosh pit. So, yeah, I mean, I'm really learning the routes right now. I'm just kind of in that little stage of uh, learning where to go, like, what's to do. I notice with a lot of these maps, though, um, there's a lot of uh, buildings. <laughs> They've added quite a bit more buildings, and you have to go in between them. And I've got a demolition gameplay on Kowloon. And uh, you'll notice that, like, basically, in order to control that map, you've got to control weaving in and out of buildings and things like that. And it's kind of the same way with Berlin, because you have East Berlin and West Berlin. And uh, with um, with uh, East Berlin, you have more so, uh, like, industrial buildings. And West Berlin, you've got, like, little, like, shoe factories and all that place. And it's, like, you know... Indu like not industry, but like kind of goods that like why am I even going into like what it is? But it's just like tons of buildings on each side, and it's the same way with Cal Kowloon. Um, not it's not really stadium and Discovery a bit. Discovery's got a lot of open points, and it's got that one big choke point in the middle. 
but there are quite a few buildings to stay in. If you want to play successful, especially in free-for-all, you're going to want to stay in uh, these uh, buildings and weave in and out of them and just control the points. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty excited for the first strike map pack. I'm having tons of fun with it. I think it was worth the money. Uh, Ascension is fun as hell. Um, and I kind of thought, you know, I mean, I obviously kind of knew that Ascension was going to be fun as hell, but it is really fun. Uh, the monkeys are annoying, but uh, you can get past them. Um, but overall, I am liking this map pack a lot. I'm going to give it a... No, I'm going to give it out a 10 star rating. I'm going to give it a 8... 8 and a half... Uh, eight and a half out of ten, just because uh, some of the ambient noise I can already tell in Search and Destroy when I'm like last man alive, and all of a sudden there's like a siren up in the air, and I'm trying to sound horror guy. It's gonna be annoying, but overall I think it's really great, and I uh, will have more gameplay on it, and I'll have a demolition gameplay on Kowloon for the next gameplay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Make sure to thumbs it up if you liked it, and I'm hopefully you did because I'm using the Spectre. <laughs> With uh, rapid fire and silencer, not really using that, uh, you know, overpowered of a gun. So, peace out, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Final score was 22 and 0. Look out for some more videos from me. Subscribe if you're just coming on to me, and uh, look out for some more. Peace out.